Alrighty, let's watch this in full first. There's no sound, but there is awesomeness. It's that dividing up of characters that I love here. There's lots of cool stuff. It's in places, sometimes a bit simple, where I, I like all of this. I like that. That's a cool beginning, lots of energy, dynamic posing. And then we get into this. It starts to feel a bit simple. It's almost a bit one axis. I know there's a slight move this way, but there's something about that arm straight out like this coming forward. And then this arm, even though there's a, a nice bend to it, there's something slightly simple in this moment here. And also the bend of the leg is to camera. I will bring this out like that. So we understand the structure of the better of the legs gets into kind of a short leg. It just all feels very flat in one axis at that point. After all of this energy, it's the only section through there. And even that land feels just so straight. Like it would be something if you, if we have something where the character would maybe do this and land more here and then do all of this over there so that you have a bit more of a three quarter view or a bit more of a, a distance to travel to get more of a bend in your line of actions. It's not so straight. It's a bit twinned. I don't know. That I think could be worked on just a bit more. I do love the feel of this because it's almost so casual. Because <laughs> you got that energy and then you I don't know. There's something really cool. I don't, maybe it might just be me, but I love how they expand. They get out there. This guy a bit higher. This guy a bit lower. Them somewhat mirrored getting ready. Ah, this is a really cool moment. This really struck me when I was watching this. Such a great moment. Then we're getting into something where as this character jumps here, something slightly off where you got that energy right to left. And then he stops and there's a it's not yet in the camera because i see the camera goes mostly up it's a little bit to the right but that's your your reference point of what the camera is doing this character goes really to the right while being straight up where i would have a bigger body lean over so it makes more sense but then once you do this once we are up going this way it stops and then it kind of lands just kind of straight down with, well, then that hit and then the camera moves and then changes into that. But there's just something in how this character is moving and the posing is feels slightly off. After that, it gets a bit wobbly with this. I wonder if this could be toned down in terms of the up and down of your camera to get something a bit more there's a clear read on that character, but also a bit more dynamic on that character's posing. It feels like a lot of the energy of this moment comes from the camera wobble. And then you got quick moves into that. What I do love about this here, but again, the energy kind of dies with this. We get to them. And I know there's a move up, but it feels like we can already move higher with the camera. So they're a bit more centered still a bit off center up towards the third but this feels a bit high we're leaving a lot of ground here but there's something about as we have this you got a lot of energy into this and then it's kind of like yeah i guess it's wednesday let's take a step back here <laughs> that's kind of what it feels like so this could be a bit amped up more energy wise i do love this though <laughs> that's great also love the the weight of this you might feel like well gets a bit floaty through there he's not that fast yet and just that move from this especially coming off the ground feels a bit weightless but again there's a certain feeling of of them being casual <laughs> and again it goes into them coming out here and then doing this there's a consistency in, the, in just how casual they are in a way but i love this though just as an idea it's great and then that just into the turns of fun into this with that ending i know it's very original i like it it's real fun to watch so little things here and there in terms of composition and energy and just kind of posing other than that it has some really really cool moments in there all right and that's that for me thanks all righty let's play this in full there's sound Turn that sound off. 
there's actually, I'm picking this one because of one specific thing that's super cool. Because again, it's 2D. I am not 2D animator. So to me, like when I see something like this, I would go, there's a lot of cool extra movement in here. It would be neat to get something in the face. And this could be something where it's just, uh, like a continuous little squint, maybe a little head drop just a little bit. And I know the focus is in here and there's movement there, but it would be kind of neat to have like a, a ramping up of intensity in this section as well. Again, I don't do 2D. I know it's, a, it's, a, it's difficult to do all that stuff. It's just my outside view on this because I do like what is going on with all of that. The extra stuff in the cloth, 2D effects, interaction with the ground. All that stuff is really cool. Also nice with that move out to here. I want to talk about this uh, mainly, but cool stuff there. I think the only thing I would say for here is that as cool as this is, and I love all the 2D effects, it gets a bit in the way of clarity of what I'm looking at. Because it's already, because it already gets a bit tricky with moments when you have a foot in front of the backside. Like, what am I looking at right now? If that could be extended here for a cleaner silhouette and seeing then the pelvis, like, it gets cleaner here. Just every now and then, could just be a bit clear just because we are already not distracted but there's so much stuff going on with the 2d effect we almost kind of miss what is going on there especially being so hunched over and not seeing the head and i know there's the hair here but that's the only thing i would say picky wise getting a bit more clarity in what is going on body wise posing wise because of all the stuff that's happening effects wise cool though with this love all that it still has an overall cool rhythm if you watch this thing again right it's really cool and i love this here too into that again i love moments like these is all classic stuff i love it it's all really really cool the main thing why i'm picking this you're going okay what else is there it's this i know this might sound silly but i love that so with 2d you get so much more freedom effects wise uh, then we see G, it just gets, gets a bit more complicated. I love that there is smoke and the exit of him coming out forms like a smoke tunnel with more smoke forming as he gets out. I know this might be a weird thing to point out, but I like all of this. Again, maybe a bit more detail in the animation in terms of what I said here. Picky stuff in terms of clarity, but I do love this. This is for me, and again, it might be silly because it's not character based, but I love that. I love the idea of forming that tunnel and then with more smoke in there. It's that's all. That's all I have to say. It's great. I love this idea. Short and sweet. I'll leave it at that. And that's it for me. Thanks. Alrighty, another one playing full first with sound here music. That's nice. This one I picked out because of the awesomeness in all of this here. It just cracked me up. It was great. But let's go one by one here. You got a very energetic introduction with the title into this, which is really cool. I really like this. Also, the contrast of, because you're going to have, you know, like rah, loud colors, the text, explosion, all of this going through, this guy coming to camera, lots of energy in the role. But then you got the contrast. Like once you're used to it, like what is going on? We're settling on this just long enough. Watch this again, right? It's great. Just long enough. I love this. That we go into all of this and then that. And it's not even resting too long. It's a bit of a mo motion going forward and back and then into this, which is really cool. I will probably give this a little bit of a contrast. This is great. But a little bigger contrast in terms of arms. So they don't feel the twins. And then watch out, just structurally, you want to show a little bit more of that bends of that leg. So we understand that this is not just a short leg. Like bending arms and legs straight to or away from camera gets a bit tricky in terms of just understanding the structure of it. And then here, I would probably bring that hand further in. Just, just this moment where, where is the other arm? Kind of missing a clean silhouette there. Cool dynamic camera into this. <laughs> this this helped to frame through. That's why I picked it too. 
So it's great to have a little bit of a reaction there. You even got a little facial squash into this, which means you could probably stretch more. To me, it feels like when you do this, into this could already be slightly more wide-eyed, but slightly more pushed in where the jaw is. Just stretching that a bit more. And I know you have something here, but I don't think it would take away from that. That's great. <laughs> That's what I'll take a look at. It's a great mouth shape, too. Love that. Love that. It's tricky into the formations of that. I don't know if you want to rotate that hip down so it's a bit more rounded. I mean, I argue it's pushing off. It's going to be, you know, maybe a harsher feel of like maybe the energy is more. It's communicated clearly that this is the push off through here. But to me, it's so fast. Not like you would super notice it, but I would still round this down a bit more. You're starting to have it a bit better, more visually. But I don't think it would hurt to get there. And I know you're stretching a lot. There's a lot of stuff going in there, but I think it would be okay. Watch out. I will probably bring that arm a bit lower as well. You have that finger now over the mouth. And then it's got that leg almost comes out of the mouth. Maybe working on that frame. And I know we're I'm talking about really single frames that if you watch this, it's so fast. But to me, that's the fun of it. When I, when I do something that's that fast, not that this is usually my wheelhouse in terms of that much of a style, but... It, I would still go frame by frame and really make this as clear as you can. So even on something like this, I would not have that finger right there. If it was like this line, this line of the finger, you all come together for like an Avenger style tangent type of thing. So bringing this lower, that way it's also, this feels long and then this is very short forearm. Maybe like this, giving us a bit of a cleaner silhouette with this would be great i do love that it stops but then this continues to move there's a little bit of movement in there too i think that's great that's cool i like that maybe a bit of a contrast in the leg they just feel again almost short in the same size where there's a nice offset there and maybe push that one length longer you could have almost that long maybe starting a slight bend into this although this guy goes in first so maybe this would be long and already a slight bend in here. Just will give it a bit more love frame by frame. That's cool. Love that. Into this. Again, clean. I would clean it up. I like that you have that. But we just have a tangent right there and right there. I'm always kind of picky. If anybody's watching my, my critiques, wherever I post them, uh, you will know I'm picky about tangents. And just keeping things clear, I do love that post though come on that's pretty awesome yeah really a lot of fun shapes same thing here you're starting to bend that leg then i will bend it so we understand that structure i understand it's only one frame and it's fast it just gets it gets a bit odd i mean it's fairly broken in terms of what's going on if you play this in real time you know it's like you barely read it i understand but why not again why not keep things cleaner where i would rotate maybe that hip down as well so it's almost like an overall body rotation like that so you don't have all those changes in direction and, and a bit of a maybe cheating this where this leg you might have to maybe scale the foot but making making this leg longer in a way you can almost taper it more into this that's cool though i like all that into this camera move i think that's really cool very dynamic and you don't lose the focus of the hand that's really cool too you have this happening sure but then the big move is the arm and now i'm following that arm following that arm the camera starts to refocus into that that's actually I'll clear this a bit more but there's some really nice moments of not too much overlap maybe clean this here as well you might even add some uh, depth of field where now we're so close, blurring that back a bit more. It's really somewhat blurry, right? But it's the focus is here. That's cool. Again, oh, you got a little motion blend there. Yeah, there you go. So the focus on this is cool. Into this. Yeah, and that's it. So little picky things here and there. But again, generally very cool. Fun poses, great energy. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. Thanks. As always, let's play this in full first. There is sound as well here. All right, turn the sound off. There's a lot of cool stuff here that I want to mention. 
The main thing I would say is the, actually the camera. This is all cool. It's all cool. I understand that, you know, there's energy and you want camera shake and there's all that energy building up here. But there comes a point where it just, it's moving and moving and there's a little bit of respite, a little bit of pause, which is good. But then we get back into movement, movement. It's mostly the shakiness. There's just a lot of shakiness in there. And I will probably reduce it way down here. Because there's not much happening yet. And then as this starts to, to form more hands, then I, will, then I will ramp into it and just get a bit more. And then into that, that's cool. And maybe just a bit less in there and keep that energy for, for that. It's just something where it feels like it's a lot of shake all the time. I think we can just give this a bit more contrast. And I know there's some moments like here where it's a bit less, but like I said, I would just tone that down a little bit. Other than that, already starts off in a dynamic pose into this. The only thing that's weird is that you're going from this to this. That to me is not different enough compositionally and size-wise of your object, you know, within the screen or you know, the composition that it warrants a cut. This now just feels more like a pop because I see a change in the horizon line here. What's going on in the background? It's not like a sudden one pop post change into something else. So this is a bit weird, that little pop there either keep this in within one shot or do like a quick zoom out or a bigger change where we actually cut to this so he's like that cut to that but you know hands are still here and then you go out into this pose but other than that animation is cool there's some good impact and an energy overlap where it's it's not sticking harshly with with the style is definitely pushed but i like that there's still believability and momentum and just the weight of it and how long things take to settle that's all cool maybe there could be a bit more contrast in the fingers as in like this hand comes in and it stays put versus this and goes a bit of a finger change stuff like that watch out a bit of a tangent there i was picky but other than that it's a nice pose with a good silhouette i mean you're gonna have the hand in front of the body so you're going to have a color silhouette. But I would just take this finger out there. That's all cool. Classic, classic. Arms out, run. But I like this too. I like that in terms of the composition of the character into this. Like the double move to that, right? So you got the character here. The other one comes in in the back. Look, I don't know. This is all very dynamic and cool. I like this. This is just the layering compositionally into that a lot of fast moves it's not huge to talk about in terms of animation because it's all very very fast like, like i said lots of shakes lots of, lots of 2d effects but i just want to mention that in terms of to me it's mostly the clarity of the camera in terms of just the composition or you know the composition but just how the characters pop from here to here and the overall shake and little detail stuff on the fingers because it's cool to have all that action. And it's all very clear. I think the animation, again, is great. But it's sometimes a bummer to then have that. It's almost like that overriding noise of the camera. It just kind of takes me out a little bit. It's just, there's a bit too much going on. Because you're going to have to have... There's already so much action and contrast in your movement and energy and everything that's going on. If on top of that, you add an extra layer of constant stuff going on in the camera, it just becomes a bit too much. So I would, I would work a little bit more on the on the energy and then the ebb and flow of right back with, with the energy of the camera combined with the energy of the characters. Picky stuff though, because it's overall still a really, really cool shot. And that's it. All right, thanks. As always, let's play this in full. There is sound. It's nice, mostly music though, but cool, I like it fits the style and this time 2d there's a lot of really cool stuff there now because it's 2d i'm gonna say things where it would be cool to have the hand behind the character but you know there are also limitations and things that i am not accustomed to or you know I mean like where it's, it's just, i'm not doing 2d i'm a 3d person so there would be things like the water 
behind the foot. So it's like picky things like that. That is just not my wheelhouse. But I just had to mention certain things. Just because of detail. Because there's already so much cool stuff in there. Other than that, I love the face. I love the stretch of the hand pose here. The grouping. And just the poses and the designs are super cool. Again, it's just it's just confusing to me when this is in front of it. It would have been nice to layer this in comp. But again, this is me talking about something that I usually don't do. But the cool thing about 2D is that you get stuff like this. Again, let's get back to that later. Maybe I should switch colors again here. It's a bit more visible. But I just mainly want to go through it frame by frame just because of the awesomeness. Because you got, you got cool posing right off the bat with a lot of energy, interaction with the environment. Quick one frame change in there. And then you got all the coolness of this that you can animate. I love that. There's that look and lean towards where we're going. Communicating, I'm going to go this way before jumping up. And you can see here a little bit of ripples and then that underneath. That's to me the cool stuff in, in 2D. I mean, all that stuff is just great. Such a pain to add in 3D. <laughs> then you got awesome. Look at that. The shapes here. There's really not much I can say in terms of animation because I really, really like this. So it's going to be more a, an appreciation critique in terms of this is just the awesomeness you can do in 2D. Also love that how this all kind of rests while that is going into a faster move. That's awesome. Look at that. Look at that face. Picky thing. I would probably keep that arm clear so it's not overlapping because we're resting on that moment and it's just ever so slightly tangent. And just a bit too close. I would keep that a bit cleaner. And then the only thing I would say, that arm gets to be very short in those poses compared to this, the structure of that arm. So maybe watch out for that. It's great though. We got that drag in the finger. Love that it's a, it's a delayed punch. I love this here. Into that. And now you see this and that. I love that. So cool, massive <laughs> impact. Shaboom, pop into that. It's great. And then landing on the water, resting on there, which makes you think here. This guy, they're standing, but then he is deeper in the water. And now they're both standing on the water. And now he goes underwater. Slightly confused. At the same time, I've never watched that show. I'm I'm massively not aware of the characters, the powers, and what's going on. Just throwing that out there. But that's cool. Look at this. Again, the drag in the finger. Great poses here. I love that. That hand pose. Really nice lines and just the detail in all of this. Really neat in terms of the complexity of that turn, right? Clean poses. Really nice shapes. And then still going into a turn. This is so complicated with all that stuff here to continue to draw here. I love that. We have this coming up here, follows, but then him coming here and appearing into that moment, not into multiple characters. I have other ones that I'm going to critique where multiple characters come into play there. It's so cool though. And then this, and this is what I want to do frame through it. Look at that. You got that awesome hold. Again, really nice silhouette again into this. Love all these trees. You that hold into this. And I love how it influences there or influences. It comes out of that. But you got the combination of coming out this way and that coming down into this. Look at this. Yeah. And then grabs the sword. Come on. This is great. So cool. I love this. Just overall so much awesome in this. Also cool thing of that land then you still have delay oh that second action here into the cloth into into all of this it's great too yeah to me it's just picky thing i would take these and animate them a bit faster they feel just ever so slightly slow just timing wise it feels like we can just uh, snap those into those corners and we got that here and the ending is great too go back into this it's so cool let's watch this again this the timing is great you got awesome poses the rhythm is cool and also the movement of the camera we're getting into this where we go and zoom out a little bit 
and it opens up still everything for some pan and tilt. It's great. It just has a lot of really great energy to it. It's an awesome shot. That's all I can say. Not sure how I can add anything uh, more in terms of critique. It's just really, really cool. So yeah, I'll leave it at that. It's awesomeness all around. Alrighty, as always, I suppose in full there is sound. So good. Let's go back here to sound. I love that. I'm listening to it with headphones. Clearly, as you can see me. But the whooshing sounds. It does have an extra amount of bass. So good. Sounds really great. The sound design is really great. It's just enough. Just enough in there. The sound, uh, the music is great too. I'm going to turn this off. And there's a lot to cover. It's mainly awesome. <laughs> it's not like I have a lot to say in terms of fixes. I just want to also look at this just to highlight how awesome it is. And little things like, I mean, it's so many things. As you go around with this, that it influences the finger and the wrist, but then also this, and there's movement on the root. It just feels already nice. It's a nice little Dutch angle. The composition is nice. The only thing I would say picky, maybe, because it's all fairly... You got some lighting and bloom effect here. It's not too crazy. It would be nice to get maybe a... I don't know if you add a key light. I mean, you don't have to have shadowing, but it would be nice to get highlights to just have them pop out a bit more. And this starts here, when this gets just a bit dark. There's a lot of darkness here. And maybe either changing the color of this or having a nice little glint highlights. Like even this could be slightly brighter. I know it's kind of like a smear streak thing of this material, but there could be maybe like a sing, like highlight there. But that's the picky thing about this shot. I mean, you already have it here, so I take it back. I forgot that it's there. So maybe not that there, but just a bit more visibility there. And again, it's like a stronger key light. You don't need shadowing, but it'll be kind of nice. But I love this. I love how it goes into, into that. It's a lot of shapes in there. Cool character look. Neat design. Love that. Like all that stuff. It just looks nice. It's a really nice presentation. Cracks me up. The classic arm back run but has a nice little looseness to it and also in the wrist and also like this here as you are preparing for this there is a move over arm post change but then also it's almost like a squash anticipation compression there so it's not just because you can be like in this pitfall of let me just do a run cycle and then move my arm for the throw and that's it but no there is an influence of i'm reaching over this way so it's going to bring my chest down and the head and then shoo. cool shapes again just enough to tell the story shoo, it reads and then i love this shoo, how we follow this and how it's not clean in terms of turn and the camera is locked to it there's just a cool feeling of this going this way and then coming back compositionally in there shoo, to hit this character it's great Let's watch this again here and the only thing I would say, there's something about, again, the colors where it gets very dark. And it's just, I wish we could see it a bit better because then it's almost a bit distracting when this shows up. I know you want to highlight, well, I'm drawing my sword and then we'll do this to it. But then at that point, I'm going, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to still look at this because it's getting tiny and dark and I can barely see it. Now this is going on. Wait, is it going? Am I supposed to think it hits back here? Where is it now? And I'm just thinking, all right, it must have hit it because we had that. That's the only thing clarity I think here would be kind of neat. Then again, clarity and posing is great. How this character goes into this pose. Into that and it leads the audience into what's up here. And that energy of that move up continues with the camera. That's cool. Great to have that here. Also, fighting wise, that's uh, clever because it's going to blind your opponent because he has to look at the sun. Is that a traveling sun there? Well, if you animated that, uh, that's <laughs> it's nicely always following this character. That's cool. Maybe not overlapping this. I will keep this probably as clean as possible. 
with the hand drag lower. I can see this here, but then you might as well completely do this in terms of an like an invasive duck. I understand that, but here I would not connect it. That's cool, and I like that he looks too. And this is great. <clears throat> so now we have this, all right? Clean shapes and everything. And what I love here is the complexity now of the mechanics, where it's this speed and momentum, it has to continue. He can't just immediately move. He could, clearly, because of style. I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff here. But I like that you don't. I like that it takes him a little bit to, to do all this. I would have loved, detail-wise, to get more involvement here. That through all of this, the fingers start to tense up and go, and really hold and grip this to go over and move up here. Picky thing here. And again, I'd be careful with just how dark and it's, it sometimes blends in a bit too much. I wish it would be slightly clear because then we're also getting into, again, there's a lot of limbs. And I mean, it works in terms of speed if you watch this. I understand what's going on because you have scramble, quick move into clean poses. But again, it gets just a bit dark. I wish there was just a bit of a, a harsher highlight, like I said. But again, quick move, and then they're clearly separated. I love this pose here. And again, the, the timing of it, of him jumping with that land drop over, it's not super magical in terms of direction change. The only thing maybe is how they land together. It's kind of like they go down at the same time. If you watch this, then it's, now it starts to feel almost like a choreographed dance where they're kind of, doing something together that's cool i love that you're actually framing the feet and legs you don't see that that often we usually want to focus on this so I, I love that that's your choice here also nice complexity in terms of direction that's all really cool and if i go frame by frame it will be things like maybe as you go as you start to go over this way you might want to pivot already from here with a rotation. This just feels like a this way and then one axis foot roll down. It could already start to turn. And even this here could be more like that. He's already getting back there. This is great. I love that compression here. The same thing here. You could already start compressing and leaning on this side and not be one axis foot roll so that it already leads into that move this way. Little picky things like here. That's great. That's cool too. I love that framing here that we're closer. It's more intense. We're closer, but we still see the face, but this gets close to camera. Just feels more dangerous. Clean poses there. That's great with that. It's really cool. Really cool. Yeah, to me, it's more highlighting the awesomeness than picky feedback, but there's always something. I mean, you can always pick at things and, and, and find stuff to, to, uh, to critique. But again, overall, really, really cool. My main thing, it's just clarity. And that could just be, like I said, through high, um, do certain highlights or different kind of lighting. But overall, it's very, very cool. Yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you. Alrighty, let's play this in full first. There's no sound, but awesomeness. <laughs> this part cracks me up. Oh, this is why I picked it. All right. So there's a lot of really cool stuff there. It's also nice to have... A, a wide view of all this, which gives you the opportunity to do really big moves with really clean silhouettes. I like that you have this big squash anticipation into full extension. You always need a full extension on a jump off. The only thing I would say, tapi picky, and this is why I'm also uh, <laughs> using this clip here for a critique, is that with such an extension and such a force and timing wise, to jump, there is a slight feel of, I'm gonna be activating onion skating here, that the root, and maybe I should change colors since that is not the best here. You are down here, getting into here, 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 and then it's kind of flattening out a bit quickly. So if you look at that, there's a slight feel like you go just higher. Just go a bit higher with that arc. Subjectively. Yeah, there's something where it's 
there's so much energy you're like oh you just want to go higher higher it feels like there's this wall and then shh, i can't go above this line but do a transition there again we got full extension and interesting how this arcs back it's almost like that trajectory this way would have you land somewhere a bit more here but to be honest it has also a nice style to it also because it is almost that leg curvature is almost communicating i'm going back here technically i feel it might feel better to land a bit more because if it shifted over but it's still cool what's good though is that despite it being stylized clearly <laughs> there is still compression and up like that momentum has to go somewhere you're gonna have to have a, a bit of a of a settle now the picky thing <clears throat> is this with such speed to then have that come down so slowly feels a bit odd but then again you might argue yeah but everything is already so stylized clearly with the posing and the stretch legs maybe that's kind of like a fun contrasty thing but something to think about it's a bit slow for my taste this is awesome great mechanics really nice clean lines again nice squash compression but also good that this shin is not in front of the thigh so you still understand the structure of the leg i will probably bring out that foot a bit more gets a bit into a what am i looking at a longer leg the foot it's nice how to see that not too much because i do like the contrast shape wise and we'll probably bring this out a tiny bit more so picky that's cool maybe on this super picky since we have lots of stretches and everything i would try to keep that hand contact there as long as you can and i wonder if there's anything in terms of bend bows to give us you know, some not so straight arms to kind of bend these a bit more into a nicer shape i like this that you get a little bit of that in there too unless i've never animated this rig so i don't know if that's actually controllable it would then be nice to actually still be up here and then it comes down on that compression but again really nice i love this i love that in terms of contrast and lines it's great again compression and also contrast right how you go from this into like a front view squash into that with the legs a different type of move then into this again a different type of move which is nicely contrasted with everything same thing here picky i will probably take this and move that foot out so that the leg is separated so you don't have that but at least it's overlapping and it's not like the heel is here for a tangent. I would probably still separate it, personally. And this is awesome. This cracks me up. This is why I picked it. I mean, it's generally great. But it's so fast. Cracks me up. I was looking at this. You saw it got slightly silent in terms of... If this is like this, what I would do is... The strange thing in terms of mechanics is that I would keep that arm on the ground longer. I know those legs are the ones shooting this way, at least this one at this point, that, that takes the body this way. It's not like it's a handstand and the arms are extending. Because then you need to keep this because you're going this way. This arm has to be the one that pushes. It can't be this one because you'd be pushing this way. At the same time, it does feel a bit odd to have a move this way, right and up while this is sliding <clears throat> and i don't think this needs to be moving just yet to tell the story this could easily be moving here in order to twist around an arm so personally i will keep this here so it's still somewhat where's that arm here to have kind of that visual of the push as well it's that it's that leg going up and and pulling the body but at the same time that arm can help and push and then when you turn, I will give us a bit of the forearm so we understand the structure of that arm. So it's not just that short thing. And then the pivot feels like it's moving around where the pivot is here. And that whole wrist goes around this point. I will lock that so it really pivots off like a 
breakdancer around that that point here. Love this though. It's great. Cracked me up. Again, contrast is great. How you go from this into something else. Nice there. Nice also with the structure again. Understanding. Nice silhouette. Into this. When you go here, personally, that's a lot of movement in his arms. I will push the shoulders if you... And also kind of bending his arms a bit. It feels a bit off with that shape here. But I will go maybe into this and maybe one more frame higher and bring those shoulders up and then it goes down into something slightly snappier into this but then i would have a little bit of y rotation in the body so that that arm it moves your chest with your chest your chest over a bit and then back just there's a slight feeling of arms are moving but shoulder and chest feel very locked that would be nice involve that a bit more just like you have it here the root see how you do this and there's some movement here i would do the same thing before and then that's that and then you go back into into this now picky thing this lands now there's more landing there's going to be more weight it'll be nice to have that forearm dip down a bit as this new wave of weight comes in just kind of drops down a bit so it doesn't feel so light and then I will probably take that one apple here and move it over here or here so it doesn't go in front. It's almost like, wait, this apple is now this. No, it wasn't. There was already one in there. Just keeping all of this as clear as possible. And that's kind of that. It's really cool. Yeah, that's it. That's it for me. Thanks.